Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Gary Grigsby's War in the West with Moon or Cucumber. Now, a word of fair warning. I have very little idea of what I'm doing here, so any help from the, in the comments section would be appreciated. I've read the manual, it's quite a, a leafy document if I may say so. And I have read that I for instance, can automate my air planning, and I am going to do exactly that. I'm going to leave it at default just to see what happens. So basically, I've got air directives I can I can make in preparation for the landings, um, uh, also for in preparation for the fighting in Italy. This is the 30th of May 1944, so the six days before D-Day uh, in the game. And as you can see, there are some air directives during the day and during the night. Uh, apparently, we um, let's see. I guess I'm trying to figure out what L M H means, but I'm gonna say high priority, medium, and low or none. And as you can see, during the night, apparently rail yards are set to high, and oil and fuel are set to high during the day, which kind of makes sense. You want to disrupt the enemy's resource gathering or sta stacking of resources. So I guess I'm going to go with that. And we can do that right here. We can automatically create an air directive. So there we go. Okay, that's that same screen. And I suppose when I click this, it will execute them. Now, I've actually already messed with another scenario, and I know this can take a while to execute. So, I'm going to just do that. And uh, before I do that, I'll show you guys the map. And also, uh, <clears throat> tell you guys a little bit about preparation and things. But yeah, this is the map. The entire map of Western Europe, basically, with the it Italian front, as you can see here. This is the uh, German-held line in the um, uh, middle of Italy, with Casino and Umbria and everything. So basically, uh, we are going to try and punch our way through the northern Italy if we can. It will probably be a bloody fight uh, where paratroopers will meet paratroopers. The 82nd Airborne, for instance, also fought in this area. I'm not sure if they're still there. Probably they've been shipped to Normandy. I'm not, no, I'm not sure, but the 101st definitely are. And they are ready to jump in whenever I say the word. Now, as you can see, over the English Channel and pretty much all over Europe, it is raining. These little droplets means that the weather is shit. So we'll probably notice that when we do our little air attack. As you can see, the Gulf of Lyon is pretty sunny, or at least dry. And so is the south of Italy. So whenever we go up, the weather turns to shit. There we go. <laughs> so... That's something we got against us. We got to keep that in account. Maybe we will postpone our invasion, even though our troops are ready. I can show you how ready they are. Uh, basically, when you s prepare an invasion in this game, uh, these air units here, the amphibious, or not the air units, the um, uh, amphibious HQ units, build up preparation points when you command them to. And they are ready to invade. Whenever we get to the next phase, there will be a button here, if I am correct, that will say invade. Whenever preparation is over 50%. It's over 90% right now. I'm, I'm guessing this is a percentage at least. So we get to invade next turn if we were to choose to do so. I, I think it's a bad idea to do it right now. We are well, we're getting ready to attack from the south of England, obviously. But if we do this too early things will definitely go wrong and if we do this too late obviously the Germans will um, uh, have more time to mess with this defense line as far as they feel the need but you know they'll know something is up once I launch this air attack I'm supposing so um, yeah we're gonna just do that and I will be back with you guys once we are there so here we go okay okay so here we are and uh, let's see. I sh I guess I should show you guys the uh, the information on the air uh, attack things. Do we have? Did I click it? I clicked it and closed it. I probably can't see it anymore. But all these are pre pretty important. Oh, we can see the, see the losses here. 
Um, the Axis lost two and a half thousand men on the ground. Uh, 474 recent battle casualties, which is during my air phase. So four, five hundred men were lost, and I had uh, around thirty thousand sorties in a day. It was ridiculous, and the Germans had maybe like twenty five hundred sorties of all their air units. So we we really, 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 really went overboard with the air power, which is actually what the Allies did. They uh, they sent a lot of spy planes, making photographs of the terrain. Uh, ahead of the uh, troops as well as strategic bombings of obviously uh, Germany and a lot of other towns were bombed um, quite significantly so yeah that uh, that did happen um, is this a um, Atlantic Ocean eh, there's no way for us to land there that's for sure I'm 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 pretty um, surprised that Brittany isn't a more likely place to land I mean this place is like hugely defended I don't get that part but anyway um, okay the battle sites will they yeah they will show you this look at that we bombed pretty much the whole region this is this is all ours just in this turn here and there were some air battles here as well between uh, German Focke-Wolves and ME-109s for 10s probably yeah there we go so that's that happened there and uh, bomber command oh city was bombed there we go yeah yeah and we probably lost quite a few planes doing all this Junk was Junk doing there yeah BF 110s and Junkers Jagdkorps and then uh, yeah mosquitoes Black Widows, Halifaxes, Lancasters. What you would probably figure happened uh, happened here, and that's that they bombed them on the ground in the night turn. So that's pretty interesting. So yeah, we did, holy shit, this place got sh got hit hard. Can we see the other ba battles as well? Is that is that something? If I Oh, there we go. There's a little button there. See, there we go. We had some AA guns shooting at us, and we lost two bombers due to it. So there we go. That's one of. That's just one hex of many. <clears throat> and this place here. Look at this. Seven attacks. Seven. Count them. Here we go. And we lost six bombers due to that, because there was a Möbelwagen, an 88 anti-aircraft gun, and some Focke Wolves in the direct vicinity. So. Interdiction, uh, we didn't lose anything there, we didn't hit anything either, it's just, we did, uh, you know, annoy them. And another bomber was lost here, that was during the day, I guess. Typhoons, trying to hit the uh, the ground units. Doolittle did some, uh, did some of uh, the famous Doolittle, did a little bit of bombing here, fantastic. And more Focke Wolf engagements. So there we go. Not much happening. I guess with all the rain, it would be rather difficult. So what I'm thinking is, um, all things considered, auto assign units to near applicable HQ. AI management. Mm, no, we're not gonna do that. Okay. Right, what I'm thinking is. I'm gonna leave these invasion forces be for the time being. I don't feel like attacking in the rain with barely any effect on um, with uh, on this area with our air attacks. I mean, 500 men for over tens of thousands of sorties. That's that's nothing, you know. I mean, the Germans already know it's war. I assume that the Allies were bombing this area and many others quite intensely before uh, although they now probably know something is up when uh, we're bombing this area here uh, north of Paris and west in Normandy um, so I'm, I'm gonna leave it until the weather clears and then we have a good shot at actually doing something although if it's the 6th and we haven't got any good weather I'll probably 
I'll probably press the invade button. I'll show you the button that I was talking about. Here it is. So we can click invade. And when I do, I will launch an amphibious assault. And I will probably have to shoot for one of these hexes. I'm not sure. Um, but we're not doing that right now. If I were to do this, I would also be moving. We've got some rail movement. We've got some ship movement. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So those are ports. That we can eventually lose, uh, use. I mean, there's the amphibious thing. There we go. And here you go. This is if we were to go to the amphibious map mode thing, we would be able to uh, determine where we can land right here. This is, I think, the white hexes are are uh, hexes that we can try and assault, and these are very difficult. I guess the red ones. I don't. I'm not sure. Or maybe they can't reach that from that one. Maybe from this one. No, pretty much not from this one. Okay, this is already planned. As you can see, there's a little red line there. So it's planned to invade here on what I think is Utah Beach or Omaha. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, it's probably... It would have to be Utah, I think. This would be Omaha, in Omaha down here. Blah, 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 blah. Or both Omaha and Utah. And these would be gold, uh, Juno, and sword. That's what I'm thinking. Because, like, over here is... L is that La Havre? Is it not? Or is this La Havre? Dieppe, okay. Um, La Havre. So, wow, okay. So, this little thin stretch of beach is basically Utah, Omaha, uh, sword, Juno, and, um, yeah... Gold Beach. Ah, uh, well, let's not do that at this time. I think it's a very good, safe assumption that we will not be very successful in this weather. So, what we'll do is we'll go to Italy. Italia, tra la 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 la, and see what we can do here. Because, let's see, um, how did you see the strength points again? There's hotkeys in the game. I don't know them by heart, I'll be honest. And I believe you can also always see them in one of these buttons. Let's have a look, shall we? Reinforcements, air directive summary, air doctrine, uh, victory screen, production, losses, order of battle. That's pretty important as well, because you want to keep st stuff sort of organized. Is it the administration thing? Here it is, the hotkeys list. So let's have a look at that. So, let's see, there is a way to show, mm, can't recall, this game is very, 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 very deep and complex. Uh, I might even cut this bit out, let's see, let's see, let's see, I'm not sure. Don't really matter. We are going to push in like Patton and just take the the whole damn area here. Let's see, where's their weak points? And there's 13 strength defense there. 36 over here. 91. Holy shit, that's some good defense points. If I am correct, that is very, very, very thick defending over there by the Germans. I think the best thing we can do here is this 13 bit. And that would be if we were to, whoopsie daisy, take both of these. There we are. So we would have a 17 attack value and we would be able to press into this area fairly quickly is what I'm thinking. So let's try and do that, shall we? Oops, you have to right click. I forgot. So we're right clicking right here. Okay. Oh. No. What are you doing? There we go. Alright. Okay, hold on. Pause it. The defending forces held. 1 versus 4.4 .4 on our side. That's what I'm thinking. We did lose a lot of men. 68. And we lost some guns, some tanks, but that was, so did they, so that's alright. Combat value went from 91 to 50, 
two. Wow. Actually, we were... We were doing a really shit job there. Wow. Well, <laughs> Go figure. Okay. Um, we had some air uh, power to help us out. So that's a bit uh, annoying. Um, however, maybe we could stack up units like this again. Yep, this is the way to do it. So hold the shift key, go over them until, until they turn purple, which sounds really weird. But that's the way to do it. And then attack that stack. There we go. Defender fort level reduced to one. The infantry division, the, the three, 362nd infantry division retreated from the hex. So we did really rather well. That's better. All right, so what are you guys? Can we take everyone from this hex and do a proper attack here? That's the question. I'm not sure if we can. All right, so an interesting thing to see here is that uh, there were actually some uh, free French corps here, including some forces from North Africa, which were very determined to get at the Germans, interestingly enough. Um, let's see, who are you? The British? British 8th Army. Oh, yeah, we had a bit of a bone to pick with these guys. So, I'm going to say we'll do a combined attack on these guys over here. Okay, well, uh, that didn't go down too well. Even though we did take care of a lot of their guns, we lost a lot of men. We lost more men than they did. Okay, let's see how this ends. Fort level reduced, the defending forces held, unfortunately. Okay. Okay, now oh, they did take a beating, which is good. I can only say, well, that sucks. <laughs> All right, let's uh, move these free French in, I guess. Uh, we could move them into the gap we made over here and have them sort of hold out there. It sounds like an interesting idea. They're a motorized division, so they could roll around the flank do all kinds of nasties interesting thought I'd say um, yeah I'm gonna hold on I'm gonna move this guy up there okay that belongs to that particular unit does it let's pull them out no let's leave them there that's no no I'm not sure what to do they're they are supposed to go with this group but um, you know Oh man, okay. Well, my washing machine is definitely not happy. Can we still do an attack? Yes, we can, with three divisions on these guys. Yes! Okay, so we got the third Panzergrenadier division to retreat. I'm very sorry for the washing machine uh, the sounds in the background, guys. We got them to retreat. They lost almost 2,000 men. We lost 1,000. But we're in the better manpower position here. They lost a lot of guns and planes here. Tanks, pretty important. Those 15 tanks out of 50 are pretty damn critical. It sounds like there's a uh, B-24 taking off in the background. I'm sorry for that. We lost 25 tanks, but then we had 140. So we shouldn't worry too much. There we go. And we're going to take this li beautiful little airfield. Yeah, well, if we can. Hopefully. Can anyone still move there? No. Can you move? Can you move there? Can you move there? Is the question, maybe. Maybe just you. No? Well, crap. I had hoped that that would work out. Anzio? Oh, yeah, we can move with the... The Nisei Separate U.S. Infantry reg Regiment. I'm not sure what they are. But they seem weak. And in not very experienced. Wait a minute, we have rail yards we could use, don't we? Maybe we can put some guys on the train like this and train them all over here. Would that work? Just train, train. Oh, we can train them up here. Get them out of the train. Get out of the train, and then move. You know, up the road that an option uh, even or 
not. No, not not that one. Oh, come on, you guys. You still have movement points. Okay, whatever. Um, I guess we'll march these guys into the mountains. It's fine. We need to keep so some sort of unit coherency here. And we are leaving our flank open. That is definitely not a good idea. So, we're going to get the British Armored Division, uh, British Infantry Corps, to take that position. Basically guarding the flank. Got to march over here like this. There we go. And we have armor we could send in. Oh, this is a um, Canadian division, I think. Canadians going to take the town. There we go. I actually wanted to take the town with these units, but all right. The headquarters unit out of the gap there. There we go. And let's see. You guys, definitely you guys need to move up here like so. Alright, Canada. Time to show your worth. There are some paratroopers here. Oh, it might not be the best idea to have them do that. I, I assume that these units are part of that. Yeah, they are. Okay. And these are... Are these Polish? The Polish 2nd Corps. Yes, I think they are Polish. P.O. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but, uh, completely forgot what I was doing here. Uh, let's see, you guys, who has movement points? These guys have movement points left. They can move right up there. Can't they? Mm, apparently not. Okay. Can we tell them to attack these guys, though? That would be an interesting thought. It had not occurred to me. Okay, no, these guys are completely out of juice. But can we? Can we not do a sort of mixed attack? And... Oh, let's do this again. Let's try it again. Okay, hold on. I think we made the Fallschirmjäger run. Yes, we did. With these guys. The um, the 8th British Army. The 8th Army actually pushed the Fallschirmjägers under Schlem out of this hex. And that's really cool. I mean, these guys have now got a strength of one. So if we follow those, that follow up that attack with an armored assault, we can probably break them and take the river hexes here, which is really good. They're good for defense. They lost. We lost five guns and a couple of men, but they lost a lot of planes. Out of eleven, they lost seven. Twenty men there are dead. Are these the totals left? Well, whatever. It's good. <laughs> they have four tanks left. Considering we had none, we did fine. Um, okay, let's see now. Who can still move? You can still move. And you can still move forward. This is really good news. We're going to move both of these units here. Alright, good luck, gentlemen. There we go. I guess we'll move the uh, headquarters units in here now. Yay. Headquarters units also... Provide sort of the uh, the whole rail yard thing, which is good. Is there anyone still hiding down here? German units? No. Okay, good. That'll help with supplies and everything. Uh, let's see. Uh, I maybe we've now finally cleared this hex. That would be really, really rather well. Um, let's see if we can move the armored division up, and we can. Although, of course, now the question is: Do we want to take this hex, or do we want to beat the shit out of this last unit? Probably, I want to do both. So let's see if we can do both. They've got 48 left. There we are. And... <gasps> we captured the town. We captured the town. Oh my. And we sent him running. Schlem has run. And he's only got uh, barely 8,000 men left. He lost some guns. He lost aircraft. A whole bunch of them. And we only lost 26 men and a couple of tanks. So that's really good news. Can we now move with... Another unit, maybe, perhaps, that would be great. Nope, we can't. We can't move into this hex now. Can we move them into the other hex, though, into town? No, we cannot. Maybe this unit? Nope. We simply don't have the, um, the power to move that unit far up at this point in time. They th that means the enemy might re reoccupy those hexes. I am not sure. 
they might they might oh wait a minute these guys can move and take this airfield position somebody should i'm not sure what this 442nd Nisai is a separate US infantry regiment does but heck we're going there AFHQ find HQ unit oh that's the uh, okay so that's an amphibious uh, assault unit apparently um yeah okay cool nice I guess <laughs> okay these are free French and they could technically still move up a hex and we're gonna have them do that there we go. Any units here that can still do something except for the headquarter units? No. Okay. So we have the 88th and 85th U.S. Infantry Corps, of the 2nd Corps, uh, uh, U.S. Infantry Division of the 2nd Corps. Can we march these guys over? Is my question. We could move them to this hex. Question, of course, being do we want to? Probably not, I'm going to say. I am going to say maybe the free Frenchies might be able to do it. N no, they don't have that kind of capacity. We could try and take this weakened tank unit on now with everything here. Uh, I'm going to say that's going to be an interesting fight. Okay, the defending forces held. As expected, we lost 126 men and 6 tanks. They lost 2 tanks, 1 gun and 119 men. The Hermann Göring Panzer Division. Okay, yeah, they've got flak battalions and everything. Shouldn't have counted on that to work. Though, the Free French might be able to punch through these guys now. Take revenge for France! What is this? Is this a total defenders hex thing? Because if it is, we are going to so win this. Let's see. Um, attack. Is that the total? I'm not sure. I guess two for two? Two move? I don't know. We're going to attack them. See what happens. Okay, they all retreated. <gasps> are these... This is Rome we're attacking. Of course. The liberation of Rome. So... Oh my goodness, that, uh, the, uh, the, uh, let's see, that's the 50, the 76th Panzer Corps. With some infantry division, motorized brigades and everything. They lost 600 men there, which is almost nothing, and 7 guns. I would have held on to my position if I had those kind of losses. Especially against an inferior force of French motorized troops. But apparently they weren't inferior, they did have some air support, I'll say. All right, so we we've, we've got that. We have got that, and it may actually mean we may be able to now move. No, we we can't. We can't. We force them to retreat, but we can't do anything else at this point. That is sad. I would have liked to have done something else to them, but it was not to be. Oh yeah, these units. These units can still move, and. Kind of feel we need to reinforce this unit. Let's see, yeah, that might be best. They have three tanks. These guys have 144 tanks, and there's a huge tank battalion ne sitting right next to those guys. <sighs> what do we do? Do we move? I guess we won't. I don't think it would be a healthy choice. Difficult, very difficult. I could move them over here and then attack this unit and see if we can make it run. But I highly doubt we will. I highly doubt we will. And we could move into this position and then force the Falschirm Jaeger out of the area here and then we could might be able to move into that area and take it. I am not sure, guys. Yeah, okay, so what? what is that? Well, how did they... How on earth? Okay, are these like... Also free French guys? Now holding a position that is almost impossible to hold? From this position on... Well, now, maybe actually they're in a really good spot. I'm not going to say they're, they're useless. Um... 
So as an amphib amphibious force we actually sent. We should have sent them in here. I'm an idiot. Uh, sometimes I'm just plain stupid in this game. Oh, wait a minute. These guys, can they still do something? They technically could. What if we... What if we say both of these... No, that's a bad idea. Bad, bad plan. We're not doing that. Anyone can anyone make a nice sidestep? Like for instance, can these ooh, whoopsie daisy. Can these three French finally move? No. They cannot. They're still in a bad spot to do that. Okay. No, I think this is gonna be it for this corner. Rome is under attack. We are gonna take it at some point. We did push the Germans back somewhat. You gotta be happy with what you got. I guess. Uh, Okie dokie. And we have... Cal oh yeah, the Canadians. Canadians against this infantry group, maybe. 32 attack strength versus 28. This should be interesting. Uh, defending forces held. Halt range 750. I don't know what that means. Okay. I'm not sure what to do. We did knock out one of their tanks. One of the seven tanks they had. And seven of their guns. We only lost four tanks and one gun and a couple of men. And we lost an aircraft. Their combat value went down significantly though. So I'll call that a win-ish. It probably wasn't. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? We have armored unit here. British armored units. Um, question, of course, is where do we want to go with these? I guess what we would like to do is uh, invest in this area with everything we have here. So that's a giant stack of troops against a small stack of troops. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Let's try that, shall we? Now they held. Their, their combat strength went down significantly though. Wow, because of those lo two tanks lost? But yeah, we didn't do fantastically there with the British 8th Corps and the 5th British Corps and Italian troops. That were useless, apparently, in the whole deal. Okay. Maybe we should have moved these guys forward. And then attempted it. I don't know. Maybe we should do that right now. There we go. Get some tanks in there, boys. Let's try that again. They still held. And they actually went up in combat value. Um, because they took took 10 tanks down. They didn't lose any tanks because they weren't using any. 40,000 men though. I mean, come on. You would have expected something. They did lose a couple of uh, aircraft, which is also positive. I'm guessing. So, that's good. What's these? What's these people? Oh yeah, that's the Polish. The Polish. I, I know the Polish are there. I am going to move the Polish... To reinforce the other Polish. Over here. That frees up the 8th Indian Infantry Division of the 10th British Corps. What are they supposed to be um, linked to? Those units? Really? Oh my. Okay. I had no idea. What about these guys? They're ready to move. Oh my, they can move like all half across the map. Wow, that's that's pretty neat. Um, I guess what we need to do is position ourselves here and try and get rid of this unit. That would be best. Cut into the, uh, the soft underbelly. I guess, I'm not sure guys. I'm really not sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll move here. And we'll move these tanks, all of them. Up here as well. Can we move them into this stack? Or is that not a possibility? Apparently not a possibility. Okay, we'll move them over here. It's fine. And 
then I have everyone, everyone on this side attack this unit here. The four units. Okay, they retreated. Although we lost quite a few tanks. 79 of them. Including armored cars, I guess. Uh, those are vehicles, not just tanks. Though we did knock out quite a, a few of their tanks. Killed a lot of Germans there. Von Zanga und Ethelin. The 10th army. There we go. And we can now tell them to... Uh, can we tell them to move in with uh, some of these units? Is that an option? Or... These units might. No, they won't. Of course they won't. Of course not. Ooh, these guys haven't moved yet. Really? You haven't? Can we mount an attack? 15. That's not going to do much against these guys. They're dug in. They're dug in there like an Alabama tick. Now what we could do... Is move one of these units out. These are special service... Units. Canadian Special Service. C the Canadian US Special Service? Special Service Force Brigade. What the hell? Are these special forces? Okay. Flamethrowers. Lovely. We could assign some um, support units for our next attacks, but I sort of now probing the enemy I'm not really planning on attacking anyone at this point although it would be very interesting to see what happens if we help them out with that unit just holding this area let's see let's get the um, let's get the special forces units to roll into that hex Or maybe this one. I don't know. I want to keep unit cohesion as much as I can. I guess it doesn't matter that much. Okay, we'll put them in here. So... We'll build up an attack towards Rome. But we're going to do that in the next video. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a like and or comment in the section below and I will see you all in the next video